So, this is a little video explaining the working of the RS series on our microfind receiver. When you turn on the receiver, you have to press the left button. Once you've turned it on, you should see following information. Uh, you have to turn on first the transmitter, put, take it from a charging dock and let it run a couple of minutes and, minutes and then turn on your receiver. Once it is turned on, you will see following information. This is the battery status from the transmitter, the GPS status from the transmitter, which is either green or red, the battery, the GPS status, sorry, from the receiver and the battery status from the receiver. You should see a first position and uh, actually there is a stopwatch under here counting up since how much time ago this position was. Okay, so let's imagine you want to connect it in real time GPS. Well, you just have to press and hold this yellow mode on the left. Yes, and when you press and hold it, the word locate will change into training. Training means that it is real time GPS. You will see now that the receiver will connect uh, to the to connect the transmitter to the GPS. <coughs> For the moment it is trying to get its GPS position, so it's yellow and it will turn green soon. You will have the height and then obviously the distance and an arrow appearing in a second. Okay, now we have it connected in real time GPS. There is an arrow indicating the direction, the distance, but I'm inside so uh, sometimes the receiver loses its connection. Okay, and the height that you can see here on altitude. If you want to put the height on zero, you press and hold it and it will come to zero. This is for the real-time GPS. I will explain afterwards when to use the real-time GPS or not. If you want to disconnect the real-time GPS, it's quite easy. You just press the mode uh, on, on the right, which is this yellow, this white symbol. You will see that the word locate will uh, the word training will change into locate and you have the countdown which is changing also count up okay because now it's counting up it is of a red color because the receiver as we are inside lost its gps position but that's not important when you are connected in real time gps it will be the distance will be marked in white in white color if it's the last position it will be in yellow so it's counting up and this says for a moment like that the last position was obtained 36 seconds ago okay let's imagine you want to save battery and you just want to obtain one position one peculiar position so to obtain one position it's very easy you press and hold locate and it will become green under it and you'll see the countdown as soon as the transmitter receives the command you see now it's counting down not counting up <clears throat> so it's giving the, the receiver, the receiver is giving three minutes to the transmitter to get its GPS position. As soon as it will get its position, it will become green like it just did now. So now the, the position came in. We can't see the arrow because the receiver GPS is disconnected because we are uh, inside. So it will give you a distance. He's basing itself on the last position. There we are. Now we are connected. Yeah. A symbol of a sitting bird, if it bird would be flying, you would have a flying bird symbol. And obviously the altitude also. Okay, so this is just to have one position. So you can see that it's counting up again, 36 seconds since it had the last position. If you want to mute the receiver, it is quite easy. We are going to connect it in training mode and then show you how to mute it. So to put the training mode, the real-time GPS, you press and hold this yellow symbol here. Press and hold it. You will see the word changing to training and it will send the command through to the transmitter to connect it in real-time GPS. Okay, so now we are connected in real-time GPS. Let's imagine you want to mute it. Well, you just press and hold the center of the screen and you will see the word mute appearing here and uh, the receiver will be completely silent. So if you want to get rid of the noise, the annoying noise, 
Well, that's the way you should do it. Remember, you have to hold the receiver flat to be able to see the arrow. Okay, if you don't hold it flat, you will see uh, a red dot appearing because you see like now, because uh, the compass which is inside the receiver does not work. You can also lock the screen in order to not to make any mistakes. So you press, you can do that by pressing briefly the left button and you see a red padlock appearing here. This is the way I recommend to be using it in the field when you are uh, walking around in the field. Just uh, mute your receiver, turn it on and put the red padlock. Actually, when you have the red padlock put or when you have the screen locked and you let hang the receiver towards the ground, so with the antenna pointing towards the ground, it will turn off the screen and this will obviously save you a lot of battery. We are going to, to, to unlock it again. So he's pressing briefly the left button and you see the padlock will disappear. I will unmute it. Okay, so you can hear the beep again and I'm going to take out of the real-time GPS just by pressing this white mode and you see the word locate is appearing again and now it is out of real-time GPS so it's not using a lot of energy. Okay, now I'm going to explain you some interesting features on uh, this model to sleep the transmitter and so on. So you have to press the center of the screen two, three, four times and you will see sleep appearing. Okay, with the arrows here, left and right, you can add or take away hours. So let's imagine I want to sleep it four hours. I put it on sleep there four, yes. And to send the command, I just press and hold sleep until it's red. As soon as the command will be received by the transmitter, it will turn white. Now it is red and it is white. So now the transmitter is sleeping you will notice that no beep at all will be uh, noticed. Let's imagine you made a mistake and you want to wake it up. So you're going to press briefly on, on, on the white bar under sleep and you now have the word wake coming up. If you want to wake it up, it's very easy. You just have to press and hold wake until it's red and the transmitter will check every minute if there is a command to wake him up. So in a couple of seconds, it will wake up and it will change from red to white. So the transmitter accepts now the wake command, the red color disappeared, it is white again, and it's starting to work normally. Remind that you see this count up, this green clock, telling you how much time ago it was that you had this last position. Another useful feature uh, is for the RS4 model, the X6. X6 allows you to give you more range in the countries where it is allowed. So if you want to have more range, but it's, it will be, have a bit of influence on the battery life, you just put X6 on one, like you see it here. Okay, and then press and hold X6 to send the command. Okay, it was red, it received the command and now it is on X6, which gives more power. Another interesting feature is the multi-beep function, so uh, in order in normal radio to have a faster beep rate. So if you press briefly on the white bar below X6, you will see multi-beep appearing. And there you can set the time that you want it to have a multi-beep. Normally uh, it is just tuned into 5 to be working 5 minutes. Multi-beeps will give you a higher beep rate or a faster beep rate in the normal radio mode. Remind we are here in the screen, which is digital for the GPS. Look once again as a reminder that you have here the three minutes, uh, for example, 31. That's the time that was elapsed since the last position. I'm going to activate the multi-beep. So I press and hold multi-beep, it's red. And as soon as the transmitter receives the command, it turns white, okay? Now the transmitter in the, in the analogical radio will be beeping faster, which allows you to uh, locate it easier with the radio mode. I will explain you that in a second. So to go to radio mode, it's, it's very easy. You just have to press briefly the right button and we will can go into radio mode. As you can hear, the radio beep is 
pretty fast. Normally in the standard mode it is much slower. Why do we do that? Well to save battery. So, But if punctually you need to have a faster beep to search a bird, for example if your GPS system made some errors of uh, reminded GPS, please remind that GPS systems can make errors from up to 20-30 meters, 20-30 yards and so it can be very useful if your bird is for example hidden in some crops to use the normal radio with the directional aerial that is furnished with the kit. So if you want to use a radio mode I recommend you always to have the aerial, the foldable aerial Yagi aerial in your pocket or in your hunting bag and to have it with you. Let's imagine you have to search your bird well, this uh, multi-beep function will be very useful. Don't touch tune, leave it on zero because it's tuned automatically. Obviously you have to make sure you're on the right memory channel which is corresponding to the transmitter. Okay, and then with the directional aerial just search it with like explaining the other videos about uh, the working of the radio mode. Remind our gain system is automatic so it goes down automatically and will search the better signal. Let's imagine here I am with an, an omnidirectional, uh, but I will take off the aerial and you will see that the beep will go down. You see? Okay? Because he is adapting his power automatically, like if I was pointing in the wrong direction. If I want to put it up again at full reception power, I press and hold the center bar. It makes a double beep and it will start again at full range in order to be sure to give you a right direction. The right direction is where the beep is the longest and the bar is the longest. The wrong direction is where the beep is the sh shortest and uh, the shorter direction. I'm going to put the arrow back again and let it go down. You have also, also an indication of the direction by looking at this number. Now it is at minus 25, that's a very quite close signal minus 80 or minus 90 would be a signal which is quite far away. So let's go back to the normal uh, GPS mode by pressing briefly the right button. Okay, we are back to the GPS mode. He is telling me that it was six uh, minutes ago that the last position was sent. It's showing it in red now because the GPS from the receiver is not connected. And now it's showing it in yellow because the receiver from the GPS is the GPS from the receiver is connected, but it is a last position, so it is yellow. If it would be a current position, this uh, distance would be white. So we're going to ask for a position. We press and hold locate. Okay, you see that under the locate it becomes green. As soon as he receives the command, the counter will count down instead of counting up in red. And as soon as he will receive the position, it will turn green. So here we have an example where I know on purpose I put the transmitter inside so he couldn't get his GPS position. If he can't check, get his GPS position, GPS position, you will have this message in red in the lower part of the screen. He will still make you show you the last position. Okay the distance and uh, the count up. So like here in this case, he's telling that the last position was obtained 15 minutes ago. So to remind you the working of the, the way I would use it, for most people are using goshawks or other kind of uh, birds of, of prey where they walk around hunting for their, uh, looking for their, their prey to hunt. Well, the way I recommend to, to put it or to have it is to mute the receiver by pressing the center of the screen, to lock the screen by pressing the padlock, let hang the receiver on your uh, neck and just make your flight. And if you lose your bird, well then connect either, make a request to locate one position, but then you will have only one position or uh, connect the training mode, which is the real time GPS. Just another thing here on the lower part, you see normal range. Uh, the transmitter works on two different types, levels of power. So when it's close, it will be normal range and using less energy. And we, if it's farther away, this normal range will, will change into long range and it will be a yellow color. 
Uh, the big advantage of being able to connect it and disconnect it remotely is obviously to save battery. Uh, I've already in our tests we experienced that somebody walking around connecting the receiver the way uh, I just explained and making uh, a couple of locations in the afternoon when he actually needs the receiver or the GPS to find his bird back. Uh, thanks to the solar panels you will have perhaps used 5 or 10 percent of your battery life even not that much. So that's it folks for the app just look at the other video about the working of the app it works exactly the same way as uh, it, it works with the other microsensory transmitters. I hope this helps if you have any questions just come back to me. Thank you.